Welcome to the video. In this video today, I am going to give you Create Studio Pro's Standard Assets Overview. This is not a review per se, but rather a video to show you what the Create Studio Pro Standard Asset Library contains and what exactly you get for a one-time payment of $67. If you would like to watch the review video, I will leave a link in the description below. You can watch it after this video if you want. Before anything, I want to quickly tell you about Create Studio plans and pricing. The standard plan costs a one-time fee of $67 which gives you lifetime access to the tool. But you won't have access to all the assets inside Create Studio Pro. For that, you will need to purchase the All Access Pass which costs an additional $37 per month. Now, another thing I would like to say here is that I have Create Studio Pro All Access Membership, so my assets and templates library may look different than yours. If you are on the Create Studio Pro Standard Membership, you will not have the access to all these assets and templates which you will be seeing on the screen in this video. So please keep that in mind. However, wherever I can, I am going to specifically tell you how many assets are available in each category for the Create Studio Pro standard members. Also, if you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos. Now, let's get started with the video. This is the inside of my Create Studio Pro account. As I already told you, I am on the All Access membership. Now, let's first look at the templates. I have access to all the templates inside the library. I will also have access to all the future templates and the other assets that will be added to my account each month. Now, if you are on the standard plan, you get access to only a few of these templates. If you see an icon in the top right corner of your template that says free, you will have access to that template in the standard plan. You can't see that icon here because of the All Access Membership. Next, there are the Starter Themes. You get access to all these Starter Themes even if you are on the Standard Plan. Just click on any of these themes and the theme will download and open in the editor with all the slides and assets which you can customize based on your requirements. Now, let's have a look at all the media assets available for standard users inside Create Studio Pro. First, let's look at the media section. Here, there is Unsplash, Pixabay, Petzels, Cover and Jiffy integrations. As a standard user, you have access to all these media libraries. Using these, you can search for any kind of image, video or GIF that you want and use it in your project. They have added this SVG API in a recent update, so I'm not sure whether it's included in the standard version or not. Then as a standard user, you also have access to the text-to-speech and audio recording feature. To search for a media asset, you can either use the search box here or open the full gallery. I personally like to use the gallery view as you can access all the integrations from a single dashboard and also we can search for media assets based on different categories. You also have the ability to import your own media assets from your computer. Next, there are a few tools on the top bar. 
There is a pen tool, shapes, text, and icons. As a standard user, you have access to all these tools. You can watch my video about creating bobblehead videos using Create Studio Pro to see how to use the pen tool. I will leave a link in the description below. As for the shapes and icons, you have access to the complete library. By the way, you have access to 20 audio tracks inside Create Studio Pro as a standard user. Of course, if you are an All Access member, you have access to the whole library of audio tracks. Now let's check out the studio assets. First, there are backgrounds. There you have 3D. Supreme, Gradient, Flow, Classy, Particles, Skies, Modern and Bobblehead backgrounds. As a standard user, you have access to approximately 50 3D backgrounds and a few backgrounds in the other categories. If you are a standard user, some of the assets you see in this video may be locked. As I mentioned earlier, if an asset is available for download, it will have a free icon in the top right corner. Now let's look at the characters. As with the backgrounds, characters too are divided into different categories like 3D characters, supreme characters, doodle characters and many more. If you are on the standard plan, you have access to 15 3D characters and 20 supreme characters. I don't think you have access to other types of characters as a standard user. Then there are the effects which you have access to as a standard user. You also have elements here. Under the elements tab, all the standard users get access to the cursor element. Then there are the hands. There are the 3D, 2D and real hands. As a standard asset user, you get access to all these hands. Now, these hands can be used to create doodle animation videos. Then, as I mentioned earlier, as a standard user, you also have access to the icons. You also have access to 30 scroll stoppers. Then you have access to shapes, social media elements and stickers. Next, there are titles. As a standard user, you have access to only a few of these. Then, you have the transitions. You can use these to make your videos look more professional. As a standard user, you get access to all the transitions. You also get access to all the effects as a standard user. There is the glitch effect, doodle effect, green screen, filters, color corrections and more available for use. There are also components which are pre-built animation effects that you can use in your videos. 
As a standard user, you get access to all these components. There is a carousel, progress bar, button, spotlight and more in this section. Then finally, you have access to the text and all the customization options. You can use the built fonts, Google fonts or add your own. And that's pretty much it. These are all the assets that you get access to as a standard user of Create Studio Pro. I have given the Create Studio Pro lifetime access link in the description below. If you want access to all the assets, then you need to upgrade to the all access plan. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.